Good morning, uh, Federico Ferrante here from Azimo Benetti. So we are here today at the 61st Fort Lauderdale International Bow Show, where we have introduced once again a brand new model to the Americas, which is this uh, fantastic Azimut Yachts Magellano 25 meters. Magellano 25 meters is uh, the last uh, born in the Azimut Yachts range. Exterior design by Ken Frivok. An interior design of the Magellano 25 meters is a Vincenzo De Cotis, an incredible architect, designer, artist from Italy, of course, which has uh, done our prototype and has inspired the interior of the model. This particular unit you're going to see today has been done custom made for our dealer in the United States, Marine Max Yachts. And so they have done the interior decoration and colors and styling along with our style department. Cockpit, actually, if you come from here, so you and I switch, I would like to shoot this, uh, basically what I like to call infinity cockpit. It's like an infinity pool, same concept, infinity cockpit. We have provided with this very unique and unusual layout of the sofas and tables, which they are on the longitudinal axle, to provide with through that glass that you see there, once you're sitting there and also once you are in the salon, you have this infinity view of the water and of the ocean and of course this table goes up and down there is a control switch right there on the starboard side next to the gate and uh, through those two legs uh, you can put the table down in a more of a coffee table configuration and it uh, becomes a beautiful lounging area or you can bring it up and open it these two leaves as you can imagine open they sit on these beautiful solid legs which comes out from each of the four corners you open the leaves and this becomes a full dining table. You also have a privacy curtain there. If you want some privacy, with a little press of a button, you have this beautiful curtain coming down and provide you with uh, some privacy. This would work if there is either sun bothering you a little too much or if you are stern in at the dock, like in Europe, for instance, where we are people walking on the dock and you don't want them uh, you know, to be too intrusive. We'll see throughout the video the amount of uh, storage that the Azimut Magellano features and uh, the starting from the cockpit. So on both sides we'll uh, quickly remove this decoration piece for the Bosho, but you have this immense storage on both sides of your cleats and capstans where of course the docking line can come through this cut through and stay here out of the way and also you have extra storage there where you have probably noticed that handle which was right there that handle opened the dogs of this hatch this is one of the two engine room access in case of bad weather the main engine room access is obviously from the stairs down there we'll see it later very comfortable but in case of bad weather you don't want to be on the transom of the boat you want to go in the engine room safely this is the hatch with the stairs which leads right down into the engine room. While you're here, incredible wet bar with the immense countertop. You have ice maker, refrigerator, storage, and here on the starboard side, you have your cockpit docking station where you have your joystick with control engines and thrusters. On this unit, you also have the optional stern thruster, both bow thruster and stern thruster are hydraulic on this unit. So you have your controls here, and of course you have your levers of your engines. So maneuvering here will be really a piece of cake, because from here, as you can tell, I can check all my bow, all my side, all my stern from a very convenient location. So with the joystick, ideally, and one end, I can completely maneuver the boat into any docking space. Of course, last but surely not least in the cockpit, television system and audio video so you have your television here and your four speakers on the ceiling to watch your favorite game your favorite show the news in the morning so this really becomes a beautiful a lounging area on the port side you have another cabinet here under the stairs which hosts a beautiful and big and deep storage compartment for your coasters for your napkins for your little uh, you know china that you use maybe for your aperitivo your nuts and so on and so forth this is how you get on the interior of the Magellano 25 meter. And really, you see how dark it is. So let me just double click this and we'll start bringing now natural light into the salon. 
And imagine that on a beautiful sunny day, this is, of course, the amount of natural light and natural view that you'll get once all your curtains are up. And then for, with another press of one button right here on this keyboard, I can turn on all the light at once if I want. And then I have another four different programmable modes through this uh, smart switch right here. So I hope in the video came out uh, really now the difference between, uh, let's say, the night mode, if you wish, where everything was off, and now you have uh, uh, your day mode. But I'm sure you can still appreciate the amount of uh, natural light, and uh, especially if you would be docked at the anchor in a beautiful place, uh, you know, in the Maldives, in the Keys, in the Bahamas, in Thailand. Imagine you'll be now surrounded by 360 degrees of beauty. And if you come here and actually turn around, this gives you a perfect view of what we talked about before, which is the infinity cockpit. So you can see that through the glass, you basically see the floor merging into the water in such a perfect smoothless way. So you're now sitting at your dining table and you can see all the way outside without interruption. While you're shooting that, stay there because this is an important feature that we like to highlight. So as you can appreciate, no steps. So from your cockpit step, that's the last step you will take from the swim platform. You come up in the cockpit, in the salon, all the way to the lower deck stairs or all the way to the crew quarters and galley in the forward part. You have absolutely no steps. We achieve that, how? By introducing this extremely oversized drainage system. And by code, again, manufacturer put big steps on the doors, not because they like them, but because you need to prevent back flash waves in case of bad weather to be able to enter the boat. And you can do that two ways, either with extremely oversized drainage, that's why you see this is almost a swimming pool, and, or you need to put a step, a barrier, on the door frame in order to avoid water to be able to come in. We, of course, prefer to engineer an oversized range in order to get our customer in and out conveniently without steps. So we'll open compartment and give you an idea of the amount of storage that the Magellano 25 meters features. But these volumes, of course, are for storage. You have some of the audio video uh, component here, we'll see the audio video rack later, which is a piece of art. And uh, so this is storage. You have your TV, 55 inches, comes out from that compartment right there. I'll take it out a little bit just to give you an idea. will not waste your time taking it all out and all in, but you can see this is the TV coming out. So only when you want to watch it, it will be out and obstructing your view. And when you don't, you just retract it down and then you're gonna have uh, this beautiful unobstructed view with the, from this oversized window without uh, any interference, both port and starboard side. All the cabinetry that you see around uh, the dining area, it's all storage. We'll open a few. I'm sure you don't want me to go through each and every cabinet. I'll open uh, a couple to give you an idea. But also this, this is a, a cabinet I prefer, so very, safety uh, pin, easy system, lock in place, will never go nowhere. And then this is how you access your air conditioning system. Air conditioning is one of the most important systems on board, without which nowadays we really uh, can be in discomfort. So we make them more and more easily accessible for more than anything for maintenance. This is the air conditioning filter. From here comes the air you breathe. So this is the flow. This should be clean very often, so make sure that either you or your crew clean all the filters on board very often. Of course, it's not a fun uh, thing to do, but we make it as easy as possible. It can be easier than this. Really, you take it, clean it, put it back, done. You close. Nobody can tell me that this is a complex operation. Remember, safety pin in place, done. So, and that goes on both sides. You have one in that corner right there that you will recognize, and one here, and those are, those are for the salon. Wine cooler, salon and cockpit in this storage unit, that is optional, so if it's not ordered, this is a, is a further 
storage compartment if you order the wine cooler that's the position where it goes into let's go maybe this way this as i said a roll storage compartment will not waste your time both sides they all open and they are all storage for your china and your tableware uh, we'll see where the silverware is as a, his own dedicated spot now come here because this is a, another piece of art this is your audio video rack this is a boat we have built for Marine Max and for the United States. So it has a custom audio video package, which is extremely complete and sophisticated. And therefore we took this entire volume, look how deep it is, to put in the audio video rack, which of course comes out in case of need of replacing components, doing a software update. And this is, uh, gives an idea of the quality of execution that we perform. While we are here, let me open this because uh, this is a, instead a, is a little cute niche and you'll see this is where your glassware for the table and your champagne glass and water glass and cocktail glass, they are all here and you have a little shelf here, perfect for coasters, little napkin set, so very well thought. Of course, uh, comfortable and dining for eight people here and on this side, of course, all these compartments is storage. And, uh, and this actually is a, an interesting cabinet as well, because look how big and deep it is as far as uh, storage once again. So storage is behind here. This is another air conditioning unit. And now, while we are here, this is a, uh, Another feature of this boat, because uh, with this door closed and is mirrored, is uh, configured more for someone which uh, would like a separation between crew and owners and guests. So this will be more likely the everyday configuration. But then we design it also instead for the family. So if you have uh, an owner which likes more the open layout, we made it as an oversized door and then once you open it the door completely disappear and now once again from that steps right there which are go down to the crew quarter all the way to the swim platform there is no steps and that's again our infinity cockpit if you give a, a panoramic uh, you'll see from here even more how much unobstructed the view is and you know you, you see the deck it goes falls right into the water like an infinity pool and while you are here and on this side, I think now we have to take a look at this beautiful gem, which in 25 meters is really not as easy to have, which is a day head. And this particular one, designed by our style department for Marie Max, came out really like, as a jewel. Look at the, the, look at the marble work, the Italian marble work. Look at the mirror work. Of course, the storage, all you need, but it's just a beautiful, luxurious uh, little, little room and it's your powder room or day head, how you want to call it. Uh, maybe we go here into the galley. As I said, the galley is very multifunctional because uh, you, can, uh, you can have an owner which is uh, more inclined of an open layout, uh, the family uses the galley, galley is part of life on board, so this door more likely will be always open. This might work more as a breakfast nook. You come here in the morning, make your cup of tea, you want to watch your news on that beautiful media, audio video set in front of the nook, and, uh, and that will be the case. If instead you have an owner which is more crew oriented, now look at this. These doors will be closed, as we did before, as we said before, and now this becomes more a technical area. So the galley, which we'll go through in a bit, this becomes a crew mess, if you wish, and this door right here allow the crew to go in and out at any time they need in order to go to the bow, if they need to check the anchor, to the engine room, to the, to the cockpit, to the flybridge, from here without never passing through an area where the owner and his guests are having conversation, they're watching a movie. So this can really become a technical area if you wish. Also because we'll see that down there where you are right now is the area to the crew quarters. Pretty neat feature of this door is also this uh, manual openable window if you wish so you can have a nice airflow without the need of opening the door it locks in three different position and then lock in place solid and watertight let's move here to the galley while you're 
here. This is your one of your electrical switchboard and uh, an unfortunate need, but uh, uh, unfortunately there is a lot of electrical components on board, so you need to have them all protected. So these are all your AC and DC breakers. And there is another two panels in the engine room, which we'll look at later. And then you have the sub panels in every area, in every ambient. So but this is your main interior electrical switchboard. Going uh, through the galley, you have uh, storage everywhere. You might wonder what it is. I'll go through this in a second. So you have a storage everywhere. Every single volume is dedicated to storage. And uh, in these units, you have, of course, our full-size refrigerator. So refrigerator, freezer, nice residential ice machine water distribution and ice distribution and this is something that we do uh, because it's your bad weather safety device. You put it in here and as you can understand in case of bad weather, in case you're going through storms, these doors will not be able to open and let everything fall off. So this is what this nice piece of plexi is. Uh, oversized appliances, of course we use Miele on the Magellano 25 meter, top German appliances. You have a 90 centimeter, three feet, and an oven, convection and microwave together, as well as a 90 centimeter cooktop induction. In these units here, instead of uh, extra storage, we have added extra refrigeration. Refrigeration is never enough, so, and you'll see we have refrigerators basically all over the boat so this is an extra unit here and uh, of course uh, stone countertop extremely durable and uh, resisting and uh, what I would like you to do even though the weather doesn't help today but take a do a panoramic of the view that you have from the galley which is uh, very interesting because I think it serves double purpose number one is is pretty to have natural light in any ambient that you need to spend time on but also in a boat like this uh, a lot of time is spent in the galley by either the crew or the owners and uh, it, this gives you the possibility to always be aware and see what's going on around you. You are at the anchor, maybe there is bad weather, you want to take your reference point and see if you're dragging, I mean what the boats around you are doing. So to be able to be in a galley which is typically is much more enclosed with not, not, not that much natural light, instead of the visibility of or basically this is the visibility that usually is in the main helm, it's, it's actually a pretty cool feature. While you're there, full set, 12 Miele, of course, dishwasher. And while you're in that position, I think it's perfect for me to start going down. We talk about the audio video set for the breakfast nook, including a Sonos soundbar, so really designed for the crew if they want to watch a movie, they can do it in, in a quality way. Last but not least in this little area is a, a one uh, Raymarine multifunction display repeater here, which uh, basically from here the crew can uh, control without the need to go to a helm station. You can control your route if you're going, if you're navigating. So all the functions that you have from the other units we'll see in the two helms that the Magellano 25 meter features. They are all repeated here. So this is your monitoring system. You want to control how much is your power flow on board, how much amperage draw you have, DC, AC, this basically you want to control your boat air conditioning, you can control everything from this little 9 inches display here that you do from the helm without going to the helm. So we go down to the crew quarters. The first and most significant feature actually is this pantry. So look at the size of this pantry and the amount of uh, I would say this will be dedicated mostly to galley uh, material, so food and pasta, of course, and biscuits and cookies. And these, of course, they too open, and uh, uh, you know, so tomato cans, juices, you name it. So this is really a complete pantry, which you can then close, stays there. Of course, you pass by separate washer and dryer, Miele again, German, the best, and uh, of course, dryer on top, a washer on the bottom and uh, very comfortable, conveniently located, no doors in front, very easy access. While you're shooting from there, that gives you an idea of how the crew can, in case the owner is having breakfast or you have an owner which uses the galley, 
you know, this is how the crew can completely isolate and uh, guarantee both sides privacy. You have, uh, you know, another part of the audio video uh, componentry here, which has, uh, of course, aeration slots and fans from the back. But uh, this, uh, in addition to the audio video rack we saw before up there, that space wasn't enough for Marine Max needs, so we place audio video rack here. And uh, this door open. You now are in the captain cabin, and uh, it's worth looking at the size, actually, of uh, this bed, which is extremely generous. Actually, let me jump on it so I give a, a real feeling of the size of the bed. But this is definitely a bed where, I want to say maybe not for months, but the two people can definitely spend a few days here. So if you have a couple, uh, you know, captain and his wife working together, they have a beautiful big bed, audio video, tons of storage. All of this is obviously a hanging bar, uh, closet and drawers. There's storage here. So storage going all the way deep into there. Ton of storage under the bed. Each of the crew cabin feature a drawer refrigerator. We talked about refrigerator before, never enough. So they can have their own drinks or little snacks in here in their cabin. Under here is a fun coil and a natural light, natural ventilation. The same applies to this cabin, which instead of two bed, the lower one is very large, oversized. The upper one is a single size bed. So you can operate this uh, boat with up to four crew member and of course they have storage audio video in that cabin as well this is the crew head you have sink and separated the area for shower and toilet so again very functional this area is for people which are working on board and so you can have someone taking a shower while someone else is brushing his teeth or her teeth or shaving so you don't have to waste time or wait for one to the other. Yes, it's one head, but it's done in a way which is very functional and uh, clever. It can be used by two people at the same time. So let's do the interior helm. And uh, so we go up this way. Comfortable stairs, handrails on both sides. And uh, here is where I have my main helm, which is extremely complete. This unit is equipped with our Raymarine Platinum package for the US is the most uh, complete package uh, in terms of navigation equipment. This is what we always put on the American units, including this much 25 meter. This has three 19 inches wide uh, Raymarine uh, multifunction displays. Of course, each one of the three can be configured to, to show whatever of the immense amount of pages and a feature that they allow you to have each single one can be split so now you can have six if you want six views we just give you here some of the basic layout this again is the bigger version of the monitoring system we saw down there I talked a little bit about it already this basically is called monitoring system because monitor the boat from many different standpoints for instance right now we are in a, a navigation page if you wish which tells you information about your list and your trim you control your trim tab you control your stabilizer you control you know your navigation lights so this uh, this is really a, a page of uh, which you would have on in navigation to set your stabilization and trimming system and then you know each uh, symbol is very intuitive these are your alarms and villages so you have eight uh, locations for uh, bilges or tanks. Magellano 25 meters, the tanks are all structural and that's a very efficient way to, to, stow, uh, to store your, your fluids. And this is uh, the page where you control all your tanks. You see they have a fuel, fuel tank, gray water, black water tank, gray water tank, fresh water tank. These are all structural. And uh, from here you control each of the pumps uh, as well as a few other features, so underwater lights, navigation lights, for instance, this gives you information about the temperature, your engine room, a structure fan, and uh, your fire pump. And here again, you have uh, your air conditioning page, which is actually very uh, convenient because you can sync all zones. So by pressing one button, back in the days, you needed to go in every area and control 
control each display to set the uh, temperature of the air conditioning independently. Here you can press this button right here, the entire boat is set at the same temperature setting and fan speed. Or of course uh, you can click uh, uh, you can click on the area and that tells you that in the salon you can control fan speed, temperature and this information about uh, current temperature and set temperature as well. And so this is very uh, unique. And then uh, the last page uh, you have is your trim page where you adjust uh, all your navigation uh, system. Important for this helm is a pretty ingenious uh, feature that we have in place. So I uh, want to show what happened with that uh, beautiful leather wrap sofa. So with the press of the button, now that sofa electrically moves and comes uh, towards the main helm seat where the captain would sit. And uh, once uh, its uh, run is accomplished and is gonna fill this gap perfectly, then uh, I wanna show the viewer how comfortable and cozy this uh, helm station becomes. Instead of the captain being by himself, you can have a friend, a significant other, a wife. Conveniently, look how comfortable. You can spend literally hours here uh, with a little, you know, cup of tea on the side and you can do long uh, range navigation. The captain sitting there in that uh, captain chair and a friend, a companion here in the helm uh, station. So if you need to do watches or even if you do watches on your own uh, and you want to be in a little bit more comfortable position and more laid, uh, you know, that's uh, where you move this sofa with a touch of a switch and uh, you make the helm station uh, become uh, you know, more social, if you wish, uh, guaranteeing a beautiful large stairs to go up and down from the helm station. Now let's go down to the lower deck. Perfectly located handrails, I drop one, I grab the other in case of bad weather. And uh, as soon as you approach the lower deck, you're immediately welcomed by design features. So different color contrast in this section and the mirror to give you that sense of depth and don't make you uh, step into a wall, if you wish. Uh, so we are going aft now. So that's how you enter uh, the master cabin. Again, as we discussed in the salon, you have this uh, very smart uh, switch system here where you can turn actually off all the lights of the cabin. The only one on will be the night lights, which hopefully you turn off when you get out of bed. And then with the touch of a button, you can turn all the lights on. So you don't have to go through the switches which are here. The mechanical switches are the standard and they're still here, but you can turn everything on and off with one touch. And also these four switches right here allow you to program the lights in four different moods. You see TV watching, welcome, night, and so you can set which lights you want each of these uh, to control. So it's very, very smart, very convenient. I think the most useful is all off, you know, and uh, all on with one touch, which is uh, very convenient. While we are here, check this out. This is the walk-in closet of the master, 180 degrees inches. So this door doesn't obstruct passage. Once you open it, it stays in there. And this is the, one of the many storage solutions in this cabin, walk-in closet. Again, I'm six feet, 165 and 70 pounds. Shelves, drawers, hanging bar, hanging bar, my safe, other shelves there. So very comfortable and spacious walk-in closet. And while we talk about storage, we focus on storage everywhere. So every volume you see is deep, nice, abundant storage. You have another hanging locker there where the hanging bar would go beautiful storage compartment there and uh, you have another storage unit here of course don't worry I will not eat the lamp is blocked in the proper position where you don't knock off your night lamp beautiful storage here some audio video components but everything is uh, shelves available for you and I want to show you actually under this bed which applies to all the beds on board very clever with the ram so no effort you lift the bed and look at the amount of storage you have under the bed with also this very clever solution here because when you come on board typically boaters comes on board with soft suitcases and maybe they're not the cleanest by traveling by plane and so on and so forth so you put your suitcases here 
close them down. So, and then on top, you still have a few inches of clean storage that you can use on top of the other three compartments there. So amount of storage, it's massive in this cabin. And if you come this way, instead, we'll take a look on that side of the cabin, which uh, feature this incredible piece of art. Instead of uh, enclosing the head and the sink, we decided to give it a noble aspect, if you wish, and that became really a piece of art. If you look at the beauty of this uh, Italian marble with this immense natural light, oversized window with of course an integrated portals and the faucets custom made for azimuth yachts as you can see every piece is custom made for this boat this now becomes a really focal focal points and a beautiful point instead of hiding it in a room behind the door uh, you know it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to look at every day and of course function is always very important so you have storage look at the amount of storage including you know your drawers so very functional but then once you tack everything back in place it becomes again a super clean piece of art and while we'll talk about storage in the case of a family like mine this will be my closet while the walk-in closet will surely be my wife but that's fine i mean this will be my closet when i'm boating this is more than enough and uh, this is another cute little piece which will be the vanity so little stools which is uh, you know with this uh, cute little shape like a bean shape which actually is designed to adapt to this geometry in order to don't obstruct the passage so you see tucked in very neatly and then when she needs it she takes it out and this becomes a perfect vanity there is an electrical socket right here for your hair blower or your hair straightener and uh, you know this is a beautiful comfortable vanity conveniently located next to the sinks and bathroom and when she doesn't need it anymore the stool get uh, tucked in if we go this way maybe a little focus on these handles which i personally think is a piece of art and of course these are the handles throughout the boat but here is uh, a door we are opening and this is of course your toilet shower room where again look at the amount of storage available so you have four cabinet with shelves very deep and very well divided for multiple bathroom uh, objects but it's like that wasn't enough now you have another four look how deep they are so you're talking about each one being this deep storage compartment for other componentry natural light and natural ventilation Eric, if you come in here i know it's a little tight it's two big men in here but i want to give uh, a perception of the size of the shower which is very important so again i'm six feet 170 pounds give or take and this is how i fit and how i move in this uh, beautiful marble wrapped uh, shower so extremely comfortable of course to separate the doors focus on the handle again another piece of stainless steel custom made for azimuth yachts with the azimuth logo right here so we could buy handles off the shelf and pay a third of the cost or we can have them custom made for us and that's what we do on this Magellan 25 meter instead. Of course, as on every boat we went through so far, central vacuum system. When we were in the crew quarters, we took a shot in the pantry. There was a big box there. In that box is a hose and that hose, you simply connect the hose to this socket located throughout the boat and they are located in position where the length of the hose is enough from the socket to go to the next socket so you can vacuum the carpet or uh, the boat without going around with a vacuum cleaner there is a central vacuum cleaner you just plug your hose into here and uh, the hose obviously is of a very uh, gentle and soft material so will not uh, create damages or scratches around the corner of the furniture and is a very convenient feature Port side guest, which uh, I actually like to call it a port side VIP. I think this boat really has two VIP. If you can, you can see already the dimension of this cabin, which is oversized and uh, oversized uh, window with natural light and natural ventilation. And this also has a very clever uh, feature, if you wish. So I'll show you. You, in a very few simple moves, 
you basically take off these pieces, which are old in place by simple Velcro. Take off this piece, which is old in place by the spring loader thing. You put it here for the moment. And then with a very simple movement, you lift your mattress, which as we said, are the same for all the boats. And under, I hold it with my shoulder because there was those pieces on the bed. I should have not put them there. But here, you have your locking mechanism. You release your locking mechanism and your mattress go down. And then with one hand, you move the beds. You move the beds and now from a queen, this became a double bed cabin in basically I think you have it on the video. It took me probably, what, 10 seconds? And uh, 10 seconds of time, three gesture that anybody can do. Super simple, hold in place. You can put your book back where they were and uh, your sign. And now you really, in a matter of 10 seconds, you transform the cabin from a queen size bed to two doubles. So you have a couple of friends. Of course, they will sleep together. You have uh, a couple of boys coming with you, a couple of girls, friends and uh, they can have this uh, very beautiful cabin, each one with his own bed. Audio video, of course, the system in the cabin, same quality level of audio video throughout. Every TV is hidden behind the mirror. We don't want to be repetitive, so just take a look at the quality of execution and the beauty of design. The concept is always the same. You see the TV when it's on, you don't see it when it's off. Bathroom of this poor side guest, immense. Immense bathroom with an immense amount of storage, actually. You have uh, his and hers dedicated storage here. You know, all the storage compartment are protected by these push systems which retain the doors. You have uh, a big, nice, deep pocket here. Storage as well. And of course, you have a storage under the sink. Very predictable and uh, you have actually a beautiful shower so if you come in here we can show again the size dimension and comfort of this enclosed shower which uh, again i'm very comfortable can turn around can wash i mean without touching without interfering with anything so this gives you an idea of the ergonomics of this enclosed shower which is very comfortable Let's go down to the other two cabins. So the Magellan 25 meters feature four cabins in the lower deck, full beam master, starboard and port guest, and forward VIP. We go here to the starboard guest, which uh, again, there's not much to say about beds side by side, but this is a very cool feature right here in case of need of an extra guest on board with a pool actually at one end, you can uh, pull down this bed. People ask me how much is the capacity? There is really no limit of capacity in terms of a bed. It's, it's really designed to hold an adult and is actually very comfortable. It's a full-size bed and uh, it can sleep an adult without without a problem. Of course, it will be better for children. It's a little bit more agile to get on and off, but uh, you know, it's a, it's a very convenient extra bed on board. Again, very generous bathroom. While uh, it's the smallest of the four, probably it's worth looking at it because still offer ample amount of storage. Storage around the portal there, storage here, and the shower. Again, despite being the smallest of the four, I like to show it because still is very comfortable. I can shower and in a very comfortable, relaxing way. I'm not constrained. I don't need to heat anything when I move. Uh, so despite being the smallest uh, head on board, is still extremely comfortable. Let's go now to the VIP, forward VIP. That's why I say this boat has two VIPs because uh, you can tell the square footage is the same of the port guest slash VIP and uh, it doesn't feel, uh, that cabin doesn't feel in any way smaller or uh, of less value of this. This, of course, doesn't have uh, the two mattresses at those, uh, that versatile configuration, which one, one end is, uh, is very interesting. You can give uh, two purposes to the same area. This is a little bit more formal because uh, uh, the bed is uh, 
is a one-piece bed. Um, same as all the other beds, incredible amount of storage. Here you have uh, your subwoofer on one of the compartments and everything else is a storage uh, available for the cabin. In this VIP, you have uh, an hanging locker storage unit right here behind me. It is a walk-in closet. It's actually a very spacious wardrobe cabinet with very deep drawers and uh, yeah, very lit up. So with his own, of course, light system. And uh, so it's very, very generous uh, uh, semi-walk-in storage here and uh, a lot of room under the bed. Audio video, of course, and suite head. Oh, let me turn on the light. We don't want to look at it dark. And uh, and suite, very generous shower. I will I will skip that shower. I can guarantee you, it's uh, as comfortable as all the others. And you have storage, all storage under the sink. Uh, there, so very very comfortable, very generous and sweet bathroom for this uh, VIP. Look at the amount of storage here. I will do some something a little finicky here. You will see me disappear in here, but I think it gives you really an idea of the room and space. So this is storage where, uh, you know, linen, towels, uh, cleaning products, I mean, this goes on and on. And actually, if you follow me, you will see, it's interesting, it's funny, you will see me disappear in here, with just to give people an idea how big this one is. And uh, this is how and where it ends. So again, a little funny move here, but it's probably the only way to give you a real idea of how big this storage compartment is. And of course, a safe because hold in place by this beautiful stainless steel strong pole. You put in place, knock it down, and uh, this is really an immense amount of volume available for storage. Let's go outside from our salon door. And uh, now let's, uh, the weather became a little better, so at least it's not raining. So let's go up to the flybridge. This is the Magellano 25 meters flybridge. Incredible area. This aft side is kind of left uh, blank, if you wish, for the owners to uh, paint it in the way they prefer. Now for the bow shows, they have put this uh, uh, funny, funky, beautiful, uh, you know, exterior furniture. You can put lounge chairs. You can put uh, maybe a couple of loft seats and a table. You can put an umbrella. So it's an area which is very versatile, and you can dress it as you please. From these. Uh, aft area which as i said can be painted by the owners in the way they prefer you move now to this uh, incredible bar and entertaining station if you wish so of course you have your your comfortable stools with backrest and now look at this i mean you have really a real comfortable serving station double canyon barbecue with hibachi plate in the middle so american grilling machine the best available on the marketplace. Of course, you have ice maker, refrigerator, storage, storage, your sink with the retractable faucet. So when you don't want to see it, you don't see it. And uh, immense amount of storage. As I said, we always use every single inch available for storage. So this will be perfect for all your beverages, uh, cans, uh, beers, waters. They can all stay here and then end up in the refrigerator. So this is really a fantastic bar you have music of course on the top you have lighting uh, of course this is your optional camera system so you have camera here in the cockpit and in the engine room but uh, yeah that gives you an idea of the size and comfort of uh, this bar going this way actually what well, we pass through this switch this is of course you turn on and off your lights from here but also you control this uh, very uh, new louver hardtop openable roof system which uh, can be brought from the fully closed position to the 90 degrees uh, position of the louvers to make air and light pass through the hardtop instead of being completely closed and you control it from there and here you have uh, an immense uh, table very comfortable dining for eight at least, you know, two, 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 two on chairs right here. And if you get a little tighter, you can accommodate up to 10 uh, dining al fresco here on the flybridge. Each section of the sofa, of course, is a storage. All cushions are held in place by Velcro. 
This is a, a, a fabric called Batiline, designed for exterior, can be wet, no problem. Doesn't absorb sun lotions and uh, is uh, fabricated in a way where it is uh, draining and is a closed cell foam, of course, the one we use for all the exterior cushion. And under each sofa, you have ample, immense storage. Actually, if you will wonder what is that stairs, we need to supply it by, by code, telescopic ladders, and uh, there is two receivers hook which allow the crew to use it to go on top of the hardtop in case they need to do work or maintenance on their navigation lights, for instance. Uh, and also you can use the same uh, telescopic ladder to get on the top of the um, forward side of the boat, which is fairly high. And so this is where your ladder stays. And then you put back your cushions. So now our boat show crew have used this to quickly store all the covers, which come standard. So each piece of furniture, every piece you see here, comes with a standard cover. But this gives you an idea of the depth of this storage compartment and, uh, you know, the length. So again, this is perfect for, I would rather use it for, you know, or you can use some for covers and some for, uh, again, drinks and uh, cases of water and uh, cans and so on and so forth, cleaning products. So again, every single inch of space is used for storage. This is the door that we look at it before from the main helm, which makes you come and go from the flybridge and to the flybridge. This is a very unique feature because the explorer trawlers on this, uh, of this kind of size, usually they come with only one helm. Typically, actually, inside is an inside helm and a single helm. We like to keep our philosophy the same that we use on our other collection and uh, provide the customer with two helms. So you have a main helm inside in case of night navigation, bad weather, cold weather, hot weather, you have that solution. But also in those beautiful days uh, where you're cruising, there's really nothing better than being out here and uh, navigating your boat uh, in the outside. And so once you set your autopilot, you can be here uh, with the uh, people around you and uh, you know you can enjoy the outdoor. We designed the Maginot 25 meters especially for the Americas in a way where you can see the geometry of the hardtop is immediately above the geometry of the windshield and so can easily be enclosed. So if the customers, for instance, in the northeast of the United States, Canada, where the weather is a little bit tougher and uh, they want to enclose this flybridge, it's going to be a very, very easy thing to do because of the geometry and design. So yeah, this is a full helm. Of course, you have your joystick control here. And, uh, you know, you, you just, the only difference, you have two um, multifunction displays instead of three. But again, they provide you, uh, you know, the same uh, kind of pages that, uh, you know, you have down there. You just have it in two versus three. While here, instead, you have your MAN engine displays in the middle, they are integrated in the, in the multifunction displays. Everything else is the same, so it's a full uh, controlled helm station here on the flybridge as well. Let's go to the bow, which is as interesting. Very nice sidewalking, safe handrail location. And then in this section right here becomes very high, so very protective. Look at the, look at the height of this you know, cap rail and uh, cleats for your fenders. And of course, two very comfortable steps, very wide and not too tall, immense amount of storage. The storage actually in the bow area is equally on the other side and in the front, we'll show you. So you have two of these here, one per side here in the front. And then you have these two here, which, as you can see, are now full of covers, uh, but that gives an idea of the volume. So this is the storage of the bow. As far as lounging area instead, of course, you have your Bimini shade holding in place by this beautiful custom made for us carbon fiber pole. Each one goes in its own uh, receiver here. And when they're not in place, you close the, uh, you close the plate and it's a beautiful stainless steel piece. And instead, you know, they are when they're up, they 
keep up this uh, beautiful shading area and if you focus on the details you know to, to see also the, the line you don't want the line to go uh, flap around in the wind it tuck nice and neat and clean inside the pole and you have your pulley system very little resistance you know you can pull it and adjust it just by pulling and then you put your line in here it doesn't flap in the wind and stay nice and clean cup holders of course beautiful lounging area here look at the ergonomics look how wide the seating area is and of course each of the two uh, love seats once you remove the cushions guess what tons of storage underneath here we left uh, of course the Magellan 25 meters comes with two anchors and uh, we left uh, the winches and of course all the cleats exposed just because they're so beautiful uh, hydraulic uh, winches in this case uh, so phenomenal power, oversized anchor and oversized chain. And uh, all the stainless steel that you see, also that's important to mention. So these cleats, these uh, cable passageways, they're all custom made, custom welded, custom polished for Magellano 25 meter hull number 14, which is the one we are uh, touring today. So this is not stuff that you buy off the shelf. This is all custom made. Look at the thickness of these plates. So everything on our Magellano collection, of course, is designed in a very sturdy way. It's a boat designed to withstand any weather. And so you have to take that into consideration also in the sizing of all the materials, including this beautiful, look at the perfection of these beautiful plates. Look at the thickness of the stainless steel. So everything is strong and massive on this Magellano 25 meter hatch to go down to the chain locker. So here we are now in the beach platform garage, uh, which convert, uh, as I said, in, in a beach area. So this is a fantastic layout because uh, you can put a couple of these uh, uh, comfortable chairs and uh, a little table on the side. So you can have mom and dad sitting here, sipping a drink with a coffee table on the side, kids playing in the water, and this becomes your, your beach club. And, uh, of course, this in a navigation configuration, this will be is your garage door, so it will be closed. And uh, this is your garage. So I just wanted to give you a quick look. Right now it's probably full of boat show equipment, but this can host uh, a 395 Williams uh, tender. You can see how deep with the electric light, you have your winch there. The remote control is right there on that wall, on their bucket on the, on the left. You might see it and this gives you an idea of how deep and spacious again 395 Williams this hole that you see right here is actually the base of these custom stainless steel umbrella system so you have a, a pole which goes there and then a double pole with an angle which goes connect to it you see this is a male it goes in, into the female here and then the umbrella goes into it so from that base you will have a picture that you have an umbrella coming out this way and you can have beautiful nice shade over this area so this is your garage of course you can miss carbon fiber shower which uh, stick into the feeding hole on the deck so when the shower is not there you have a cap a stainless steel cap which close that that hole and then when you put the shower in this is a, a carbon fiber it's very light a very cool design piece with your little faucet here and when you get out of the water from here this is where your ladder is uh, this is the handle to grab when you get out of the water very comfortable you come out of the water you just uh, flip this lever and you have a shower so and then you also have actually another shower right here in case uh, you know you want to wash your feet or be more handy you have also a handheld on the side here which neatly disappear inside this cabinet this will be your main access to the engine room which we're gonna tour right now as you know this is my personal favorite part of every one of our boats this is a sort of a bottom locker if you wish which is very convenient from a technical standpoint so before you head into the engine room this is an area where you can have you know cleaning product and marine oriented product you know a little bit of tooling so stuff that you want to have a first hand tucked away, maybe big and bulky, is all here. You can put hooks. So you can create this as really 
a bottom blocker, if you wish, uh, like on much larger products. And now from this watertight lock door, you go into the engine room. So we'll go in. This is your hydraulic unit to move your garage door. And so the thing is that to notice is that how conveniently is located. This is your hydraulic uh, reservoir. Very easy to check the level of your fluid and very easy to refill through that red cap. So the position is, uh, is very smart and intelligently located. Going this way, two 21 kW generators, more than redundant for this model, which is, uh, of course, uh, Cummins Onan, so American product, can be better on this side of uh, the world. Plenty of power, you can run the boat with one, and uh, you have another one for uh, redundancy. While we pass under this exhaust, we talk a little bit about it. So we have uh, underwater exhaust. So once the revs of the engine generate enough pressure for the water to basically go under the boat, the bigger, uh, when, when you pass the 1000, 1200 RPMs, the, under, the, the exhaust become an underwater exhaust. And this is instead for your idle. So low pressure exhaust at idle, we just bluff from, uh, from the side. As soon as you give throttle, the exhaust goes underwater, which means no noise, no soot, and uh, it's just the way to run exhaust. We are here next to the Beast 12 cylinder man. The Magellano 25 uh, meters uh, standard comes with the 1400 horsepower, same engine, same block. They offer it in two different configuration. This unit for the US, of course, has the upgraded uh, option that we offer, 1550 horsepower uh, times two. So this boat is actually as far away from slow as uh, you can think of. Uh, we sea trial it, of course, multiple times in Italy for our quality control, MAN official commissioning, and we sea trial it here. Every sea trial, the boat uh, passed the 26, 26 knots mark. So this boat can cruise with a 1550. It can cruise all day long at 21, 22 knots. And uh, 22 knots, you have uh, you pass the 500 miles uh, range. And uh, with the 1400, the standard propulsion, you basically take off a couple of knots. So you would the, the wide open throttle is 24ish, 23 and a half, 24 knots, and your cruising speed will, will be in the 20. Uh, your range increase a little, but not that much. As far as the fuel burn and range, the difference in power is not that significant. Keep in mind, at uh, 10 knots, this boat passed the 2,000 miles uh, range. It really burns uh, nothing. It's, you're talking about 15 gallons an hour at uh, 11, 12 knots, 11.7, 12 knots, 15 gallons an hour. It has a 2,100 gallons fuel tank, so you do the math. It's, uh, it's really very, very efficient. Your firefighting system here of uh, dimensions which are set by the standards. So we, we don't interfere with that. A work of art and a work of power more than anything. And uh, so this uh, is the reservoir, your hydraulic reservoir with your level check right there, your refill from here. And, uh, and this power, your Bow thruster, your stern thruster, your port anchor winch, your starboard anchor winch, and uh, how it does that is uh, through PTOs, which are these beautiful piece of machinery right here. This uh, gray, nasty piece of equipment, which seems uh, so industrial, it is. This this is a power generator, and this is the pump which is connected to the gearbox. Again, this is a V-drive configuration, so. This is the cardan shaft right here. Cardan shaft, deer box, shaft, propellers. So V-drive configuration. And this is a PTO connected to the gearbox, which gives hydraulic fluid power to your winches and to your thrusters. And you have a one per engine. These are your MAN filters. Very important to be accessible and easy to replace. In addition to those, of course, you don't have single, you have double Raykel filter, one set per engine, which of course your selector here, where you can use 
both in line, one or the other. Most likely you want to use one and make sure that the other is ready in case you have a problem on the main, you switch in the lever and get fuel from the other one. As I always do and like to do, I want to show you also a little bit of a backstage, so the interior of these uh, electrical panels. Um, so you have, a, this is your DC panel, your, this is your AC panel, and uh, when we open them, of course they are lit. You have a switch here, which turn on and off the light as soon as you close the door. And this gives you an idea of the quality at which we build those electrical systems. Of course, everything is named and numbered. We provide each boat with a paper and digital electrical drawing, and each component is referred to in the drawings with its own name and code, and the wires goes into it and from it. And so troubleshooting, as long as there is electrical knowledge, of course, but troubleshooting is, is easy and the way it's supposed to be. And I always like uh, to show what's behind the scene. These are your service battery charger. We use only master volt, best on the market for this kind of configuration. You have two 80 amps for the service batteries. Then you have uh, 30 amps for the engine batteries, still 24 volts. And this little baby right here is for your generators battery, which are the only 12 volt batteries that you have on the boat. So you have a 24 volt service batteries, 24 volt starting batteries for the engine, 12 volts batteries for your generator. This is your other 21 kW. You have AC and the DC water pumps, so battery power or uh, AC power pump, and uh, interchangeable, so if one goes bad, the other can uh, replace. Very easy to, to reset in case of need. Sometimes you need to reset the pressure of the pump. Easy to read uh, manometer and pressure meter, compensation tank, so the, again, to have a water flow problem on a boat is, is not pleasurable and you need to be able to have this area very easy to service. So that's why they are located right here. The same applies to this bad boy right here, air conditioning compressors. This is a chill water system. This is your chill water pump. This is the pump which distributes water throughout the boat to each fan coil, very cold water and that's how you obtain the air to be conditioned and look how easy it is to service, maintain, attach to the servicing port of each of the compressor lines so that the way you can uh, read the instruments and service the air conditioning here is super, super easy. Of course, last but not least, Glendening Cable Masters. This boat comes with 100 amps shore power, so very big, heavy cables to provide the boat with a lot of nice, big, beefy power. They are retracted and extended electrically through uh, cable masters. Galvanic isolators, very important. In, in few words, what this system do is extend the life of your zincs and prevent the boat to be attacked by galvanic corrosion when in a marina. You heard the stories that if you're next to a boat which is not protected, you're protecting them, which is true, unless you have a break in the ground, which is what these two components do, which is galvanic isolator. Four big white boxes in the back, which says AC in the front. Those are short power converters. And uh, what they do, in a few words, they basically convert any power that they get from the dock. So no matter the frequency, no matter the voltage, no matter where you are, from Europe to the Bahamas to the islands, the cleanest power, power goes through those machines and is transformed into the power, the clean power that uh, the boat needs. Again, we went through the audio video system of this boat. We see how many components uh, we have of a value and you want to make sure that you feed them with the, the cleanest power possible. This boat is designed to travel a lot. And uh, when you go to remote location, little islands, not necessarily you have the quality of power you want, and uh, what those machines do is uh, basically transform the power into what the boat needs in terms of quality. So I hope you have uh, enjoyed this uh, comprehensive uh, tour of this brand new Azimut Yachts Magellano 25 meters. And uh, once again from this Infinity cockpit, uh, this is Federico Ferrante from Azimut Benetti.
and uh, have a great day and be safe out there. Thank you.